there, ladies and gentlemen. Welcome back to the channel. Thank you for joining us today to check out these uh, pedals from Gokko. Now, Gokko sent these over for us to have a look at. Uh, no money's changed hands, but um, we, they certainly sent them out to us for nothing to have a look at. And so we'd like to thank Gokko very, very much. This first pedal we're going to have a look at in this video is the Salem Boost. Now, this is a really flexible boost. I was very surprised, but they, they told me they were sending me a array of pedals and um, this one really caught me by surprise. So I was like, ah, you know, boost pedal, you know, it's, it's uh, they're pretty run of the mill, but this thing has got an added dirt knob. So this is your volume knob here. It's got an added dirt knob and it's got a range knob. Now it's not your typical tone knob, but it sort of enhances different frequencies for you to use in your boost, which is awesome. So if you wanted like a top boost or a treble boost, you can turn the knob all the way that way. If you want a more meaty, beefy boost, uh, you can turn the knob down and it gives you a lot more bass. So the range knob is really the key to this pedal and having an extra dirt knob in there is awesome. So I'm gonna start with the range at 12 o'clock and the dirt off. I'm going into the katana behind me. That's me just katanaing. All right, so I've got it set up at about unity. Maybe not. There is a huge amount of boost on tap here. So you can hear it boosting, but not only is it boosting, it's it's boosting specific frequencies as well. It's not a just a normal run-of-the-mill volume boost. It, it does have its own character and flavor, which the katana really likes, the strat really likes, and you know, my ear holes really like it too. Now, besides the volume knob, there's also this dirt knob, which is super sweet because it lets you just add some overdrive and some clipping to the signal. Right towards the end there, it can actually also add a lot of volume if you... I'll try and get the volume levels the same so that you can uh, hear the gain difference. So there's the volume boost and the dirt. So that's pretty cool. So that, that takes you to a real sort of, you know, overdriven sound. When you can vo combine the two, the volume boost and the dirt right up full together, it, it really does add to the volume. Don't you worry about that. Just gotta say the katana is absolutely loving having this pushed into it as well. Now I'm gonna muck around with this range knob and you'll hear the amazing different range of boosts that you have in here. Now I've got more bass that I can handle.
And then I'm just going to run through the range knob with the uh, dirt completely off. So we're just getting volume boost, and now the range knob will sort of have a different effect. <laughs> So all the way uh, clockwise, it's really spiky and really uh, trebly, like a real treble boost. It's not quite like a range master. It's a bit more sort of breathy than that. <laughs> oh, yeah, I am in drop D. Around the other end, you can get just this, uh, you know, really nice, meaty, sort of bluesy. Just kicked on some uh, delay as well. I'm just going to put the katana on a dirtier amp so we can hear what it does to a dirty sounding amp. All right, this is the dirtier channel that I use uh, at gigs. That's a fair bit of uh, gain and girth to it, doesn't it? Well, there you go. That is absolutely awesome into the front of a... Uh, of a very dirty katana amp. So that's awesome. Thanks, Coco, for sending this, and thank you for checking in on this pedal. If you have uh, got this far, give us a thumbs up and a like and a subscribe. There's a link uh, down in the description if you want to check out more about Coco. And um, thanks very much for tuning in. We'll see you in the next video. Bye.